Hi everyone and welcome to this video. So in this video we are going to be using logistic models in order um, to predict here a binary outcome which is uh, survived, the survived uh, viable in this data set with two modalities, yes and no. Yes is two and no is coded as one. And so we are going to be using a numeric predictor and a categorical predictor uh, at the same time. So in other words, this is sort of the, um, the uh, logistic uh, equivalent of uh, an analysis of covariance. Um, so here, passenger class is, uh, has three modalities, one, two, and three, first um, class, second class, and third class, coded one, two, three. So we're going to go into analyze and generalized linear models, generalized linear models here, and we are going to be choosing a binary logistic model. Then we're going to select our response variable, which is survived. Uh, it is coded as one for no and two for yes. So if we want to um, use no as baseline, we actually need to change the reference category here because by default it's going to be the last value, so two and not one. We can choose a first here or we could choose custom and select one here. I'm going to click on continue. Then I'm going to select my predictors. Age is going to be my covariate and passenger class is going to be my factor. By default, it is going to be coded here with the last category as baseline. In other words, here it's going to be the third class coded as baseline, um, which is interpretable enough. So uh, let's keep it this way. We are going to be then selecting our model. And so we're going to be selecting uh, here the effect of passenger class and age, the main effects. For now, we are not going to include an interaction term, so let's keep it this way over here. And um, I'm going to uh, then click on statistics right here, I'll select likelihood ratio, um, chi-square tests, and uh, profile likelihood confidence intervals, they're usually preferable. And I'm going to here check uh, this box in order to get exponential parameter estimates, which will give me odds ratios. I'm then going to uh, select, sorry, before I click continue, I will click on EM means uh, because in the output might be um, uh, simpler to, to interpret here. I can get um, predicted probabilities of survival in each uh, passenger class, this time controlling for age because age is also uh, my predictor here, um, one of my predictors. So here I'm selecting passenger class over here and I'm not changing anything here. I want it scaled as the response, so in other words, scaled as a probability. Um, and that's it, I'm gonna click on continue. Okay, uh, so then I scroll down a bit. So here I have an omnibus test. So this compares a model with all predictors, so passenger class and age and the intercept as well, uh, versus an intercept only model. We see that it's significant, so it tells us that the model significantly fits the data. Um, and here we have uh, separate tests for each of the effects. So we have, uh, well, the intercept we are not necessarily interested in, but we're interested in the effect of passenger class here. We see that it is a significant effect. This is a likelihood ratio chi-square test here. Um, and we also have a significant effect of age um, here. So again, it's important to know that these, this is an effect of age controlling for passenger class and this is the effect of passenger class controlling for age. Both are significant here. If I uh, then try to interpret this model, I would look notably at the exponentiated coefficients. And so here, let's start with age, even though it's the last one, because it's maybe simpler to interpret. Uh, so this uh, value here, 0.963, this tells us that per this model, as predicted by this model, as age increases by one, in this case that's one year, and controlling for the passenger class, we predict that um, the odds of survival are multiplied by 0.963. In other words, these odds uh, decrease as age increases, again controlling for passenger class. Now let's look at these. So uh, for passenger class, class three is actually used as baseline, so we wouldn't interpret it. Uh, but here we would look at class two, for example. So this tells us that for a passenger, um, per this model, um, so controlling for age, 
as uh, um, if they are in class 2 versus class 3, and again controlling for age, then their odds of survival are multiplied by 2.730. And likewise, if we look at here this estimate, this tells us that for uh, passengers in class 1, for a passenger being in class 1 versus class 3, which again is the baseline, and controlling for age, uh, we predict that their odds of survival will be multiplied by 9.236, so in other words, they would be increased. Okay, and so here we also have predicted probabilities controlling for age, so here age is set to its mean in order to compute predicted probabilities. And so uh, this gives us predicted probabilities um, of survival in each of the passenger classes. So 0.72 for class 1, 0.43 for, for class 2, and 0.22 for class 3. So this does not include interactions. In other words, it assumes that the effect of age is the same regardless of passenger class. And it assumes that the effect of passenger class is the same regardless of age. Um, if we don't think that this is uh, realistic or we want to test uh, if, um, if we can safely assume that, uh, we would go into the same menu again, generalize linear models, go into model, and we would add an interaction right here, an interaction between passenger class and age. Right here, so now we have an interaction term. We are now going to click on OK. And in the, various, in the various tests that we have over here, we now have another effect, which is passenger class by age. So this is the interaction term. We find here that this interaction is non-significant. In other words, we could assume here no interaction. Uh, in other words, we could assume that the effect of age is the same uh, regardless of passenger class, or another way to say that is that the effect of passenger class is the same regardless of age. Um, however, if we had a significant interaction, unfortunately, the interpretation would be fairly complex here. And uh, the best way to proceed to uh, understand um, such an interaction uh, would likely be to plot the predicted probabilities in each passenger class for and uh, and at varying uh, age uh, levels. So in other words, we would study the the predicted probabilities of survival at different age values uh, for class one, class two, and class three using the estimates of this model, which unfortunately we cannot do uh, here in SPSS. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching.